Okay, there's an ACT thing. I want it done. Okay. Um, this one, I couldn't really make multiple choices. I mean, you could, but it would take forever. So let me explain what you're going to do. A meteorologist predicts the daily high and low temperatures is 91 degrees Fahrenheit and 69 degrees Fahrenheit. If T, variable T, represents the temperature, then the situation can be described in two ways. Okay, we're going to represent it with an inequality and then an absolute value inequality. Okay, so an inequality we derive from a number line. You just put 69 and 91, they're both positive, and it's between the two. So fill them in because it, it was equal to each one, and then just put arrows that run towards each other. Now here's how you represent that with an inequality. They want you to use a T variable. You put 69 on one side, you put 91 on the other. Now since I have T before the 91, it's less than, okay? It goes that way, so it's less than or equal. Now, I know that this is greater than, T is greater than 69, but since I have 69 placed before the T in this sentence, okay, you're actually going to use less than again, okay? Because a T is greater than or equal to 69, but then 69 would be less than or equal to T. Again, I'm using a less than because T is greater than 69, but since I have 69 before the T in that statement, okay, it's less than. And there's your inequality. Now, absolute value inequality we have not really done. Maybe I did it like one day, but the odds of anybody remembering are pretty slim, okay? Well, you're going to make an absolute value, and you're going to put T. Now, you're going to subtract a number, but it's not either one of these. To find the number you're going to subtract, you have to find what's halfway in between those two. It's 91 and 69. That can be accomplished if you take 91 plus 69 divided by 2. Click equals first, then divide by 2. You get 80. Okay, so there's your number that's subtracted. Then you put less than or equal, and you have to figure out how much 80 deviates either direction. Here's how that can be accomplished. Put your lowest temperature, then put 80, and then put 91. Now to find what, the, what it's going by every time, how far 80 is from each number on a number line, you can just subtract. 91 minus 80 is 11. 80 minus 69 is 11. Okay. Okay, so each one of those, that's the, just a simple inequality, compound inequality. This is absolute value. The variable minus the in-between number, less than or equal to the deviation, how far that devi the temperature deviates from the middle. Okay, next one. Which inequality, and I made some multiple choices here. Which inequality has a solution that matches the graph? It's between negative 3 and 7. Okay, it's within that range. I said within. Okay. Now let's get rid of these minus threes and plus twos. If I add three here and add three to two, that's going to be five. Okay. So let's make that a five. That's going to be the same thing. That's going to become a five. That's going to be a five. And then minus two, minus two would give me five. Now the absolute value is within here, okay? It's within this range, so you can get rid of the greater thans, okay? Get rid of those because that would be outside the range. Now, it's down to this one or this one. So make a table like you always do, and you're going to put x minus 2 less than or equal to 5, but then with inequalities on the other side, you have to flip the sign greater than or equal to negative 5, okay, on the other side when you do the negative. So if you add 2, x is less than or equal to 7, x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Well, you're less than 7, but you're greater than negative 3, so I think it's that one, okay, wouldn't be the other one. 
by the way, if arrows don't draw this, you don't have to draw this on your paper, but if arrows go outward, then you're looking at greater than, okay, on an absolute value inequality because that goes outside the range, not within. Outside would be greater than. Okay, now the ACT loves absolute value graphs. Which equation is graphed? Okay, absolute value equations form a V. Okay. Now, here's how you figure out which equation matches the graph. You're actually going to build your own absolute value function. It's similar to how you build a parabola function because a V and a parabola are very similar. You go y equals absolute value, you can put x minus h plus k. You're not going to put the second power outside there, though. It's not a parenthesis. And then you don't really put a here. Instead, you put m because that's a straight line, so there would be a slope. So mark your vertex. That's h, k, just like a parabola. So your left one up three. H, k. Okay, so your h is 1, or negative 1, excuse me. So we're going to make that a plus, and that's going to become 1. Now your k is 3, positive, so we'll keep it 3. It's got to be have a plus 1 inside, a plus 3 outside. So this minus 1 here can go, okay? Don't need that. And also this minus 3 here, remember mine's plus 3, that can go. So it's between these two. Now your m is a slope, but here's how you figure the slope. you got to find a mark some point, and it can be to either side. Usually to the right is what I would do, to the right. Find me a coordinate. It would be right there. That's right on the grid. You could go further down here. It doesn't matter, but I think the closest one's better. From there to there, you're going down 1, 2, 3, so negative 3 over 1, okay? Negative 3 over 1, but when I divide that, it's negative 3, okay? So I can get rid of that one, and there we have it. Okay, now we're going to look at the next one. This is different in that it's an inequality instead of just an equation. Okay, again, you're going to build the function yourself. X minus H plus K. Put M, not A. A, A, A is for parabolas, U shapes. Okay, we don't you need that. Okay, so here's your H, K. Your right one down one, so one, negative one. That's H, that's K. Okay. So my h is 1. Don't switch it to plus because it's just a positive 1. And then my k is negative 1. Why don't you cross out plus k and put minus 1. Okay, so we got minus 1 inside, minus 1 outside. So that takes that out. And it takes that out as well. Okay, so it's between these two. Now go to the right and find another coordinate and figure out the slope of this part of the line here. You go up 1, so that's positive 1, and over 2, okay? So that'd be 1 over 2, and it's positive, okay? So my m is 1 half. Well, that doesn't tell me anything, okay? They're the same. But this one, it's pointed greater than. This point, it's pointed less than. Remember, the highlighted side's true, okay? So if you have true below, that means it has to be less than, okay? So circle the less than and you have it, okay?